Yeah. Okay. Hi, Lorena. Welcome, Lorena. <laughs> okay, are we ready, Michael? Can you start recording? Yep, sorry. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome again to the class called Fantastic Reading that happens every Friday from 12 to 1. I see one new face today and uh, we will call his name, we will call everybody's name in a little while, okay? Um, and we are going to start with um, a song that we always sing that goes like this. Good, yes, Pamela? Buenas tardes a todos, bienvenidos a la clase del día de hoy. Como siempre nos reunimos aquí los viernes. Miss Patricia nos decía que por favor mantengan su micrófono apagado porque así pueden entender toda la clase. Y también eh, iniciando nuestra clase vamos a empezar llamando a cada uno de los niños ya que tenemos a nuevos compañeritos y así podemos empezar a, a practicar el nombre y a aprenderlo. Y siempre iniciamos con una canción la cual ella la va a cantar ahora. And the song goes, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Our day is beginning, there is so much to do. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. En español. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo están? Hey, ¿cómo están? Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo están? Hey, ¿cómo están? Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias. Y usted. Thank you, Miss Pamela. So, being that we have uh, some new faces today, I would like to sing the song uh, where we call everybody's name and we also check on how everybody's feeling. Okay, Miss so Patricia, yes. would you like us to do or spell the names today with the babies or you want to do the regular one? You know, I was thinking about that. Um, Let's do spelling the names. Okay. En la canción del día de hoy, aparte de que digan cómo están, vamos a pedirle a ustedes los padres que nos ayuden, o sea, ayuden a sus niños a deletrear su nombre, ¿ok? Ok, so and I'm going to start with a little girl that has pink pants and her name starts with a S, like S, and where is Sabrina? Where is Sabrina? There she is. There she is. How are you today, Sabrina? How are you today? How are you today, Sabrina? Are you good? <laughs> are you good, Sabrina? Spell your name. Spell your name. Okay, Daddy, can you help us? Yeah, we've got S A S A A B B R R I I N N A A Yes, good job, Daddy and Sabrina. Okay, Sabrina, you wanna take a turn? Sure. Um, let me see. I'm looking for a little boy that starts with the letter T, -t, -t, -t for Troy. Where is Troy? Where is Troy? There he is. There he is. How are you today, Troy? How are you? How are you? Ha 
happy oh i'm gonna say <laughs> very very happy spell your name spell your name can you spell your name with mommy say t t say r r say o o say y y yay great job troy Okay, Pamela. Okay, now I'm looking for a girl who has a pink uh, bow in the head and the name starts with M. Mama Madison. Mama, do you want English or Spanish? Um, either or is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do it in English. Where is Madison? Where is Madison? There she is. There she is. How are you today, Madison? Oh, How are you? Very, very good. Uh, spell your name. Spell your name. Let's see. Your name? M A D I S O N. Madison, good. Good job, Madison. Okay, so now let's go with a boy, and his name starts with a L. His name is. Leo, okay. Where is Leo? Where is Leo? There he is. There he is. How are you today, Leo? ¿Cómo se Mami, no te escuchamos. Mami, okay, ahora sí te escuchamos. No, no puedes decir en español, ¿ok? Ok, so, es L, O, sorry, L, E, O, Leo. Leo, muy bien, yes. Deletraste tu nombre con mami, Leo, L, E, O. And in English is L, E, O. Great job, Leo. Okay, and our last friend starts with the letter J, and he's one of our big boys on our screen, and he's eating something yummy. Think his name is Jake. Okay, let's see. Where is Jake? Where is Jake? There he is. There he is. How are you today, Jake? How are you feeling? Good. Oh, are you tired? Are you tired today? It's okay. Very, very tired. Spell your name. Spell your name. Can you spell your name, Jake? J-A-R-K-E. Okay, good try. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Jake, really good try. Okay, so our next, um, the next part of our class is a song that we always sing before we do our read aloud. La siguiente parte de nuestra clase es la canción que siempre cantábamos antes de leer. Small, small, big, 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 small, small. 
small, big and small, big and small, big, 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 small, small, small. Please, no thank you. Please, no thank you. Please, no thank you. Please, 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 no thank you. Please, no thank you. Please, no thank you. Please, 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 no thank you. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. Loud and quiet. Loud and quiet. Loud and quiet. Loud, 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 loud. Shh. Quiet. Loud and quiet. Loud and quiet. Loud, 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 loud. Shh. Quiet. Pika. my friends so now i will ask you if you're enough in a comfortable place or if you want to move and grab like a blanket or grab your favorite toy your teddy bear we're gonna read a special story that is related to what is going on right now in our in our in the, in, on the streets you could see um, a lot of yellows and red and brown and orange. Okay, Pamela. Um, si no están eh, sentados cómodamente, es el momento de que lo hagan. O que vamos a leer nuestro libro, el cual está enlazado con la época o, la, o el estado de, de que estamos ahora, que es el otro. Así que vamos a leer nuestro libro del día de hoy. And the title of the book is Leaf Jumpers by Carol Gerber, illustrator by Leslie Evans. Es hojas saltarín, eh, saltadores de hojas, y está escrito por Carol Gerber y ilustrado por Leslie Evans. We watch a soft wind shake the trees. It lift the leaves and set them free. Observamos el movimiento que menea los árboles y suelta las hojas y las libera. Release, they flutter through the air. Drifting downward gracefully. Las libera, las suelta en el aire, cayendo todas de una manera muy graciosa. We run to catch the falling leaves. We smell their smells and touch their veins bright jewels from the crowds of the tree of trees we trace their shapes we say their names corremos y agarramos las hojas mm, respiramos su aroma y tocamos sus partes traemos todo lo que cae de los árboles Y trazamos su forma y decimos sus nombres. Re 
red maples broad and pointed leaves flame bright and vivid as a match. El árbol de arce rojo nos trae hojas puntiagudas que parecen como una llama brillante y son vívidas y combinan. The sugar maple leaves are orange, like pumpkins in a pumpkin patch. We could see the leaves right here. They match with the pumpkins. Las hojas de el árbol de arce de azúcar son naranja, como las calabazas en una granja de calabazas. Stubby fingers, brown and dirty, rich from the slender white oak leaf. Dedos regordetes, marrones y sucios, o como la tierra, como la tierra realmente, alcanzan hasta agarrar las hojas que son de color blanca. O parecida al color blanco. The vast woods glowing yellow leaves are shaped like hearts with tea. Huh. This is really interesting. They really look, look like hearts and they really look like they have teeth. You see these pointy things? It looks like teeth, sharp teeth. El tilo lanza hojas color amarilla que tienen forma como corazones y como pequeños dientes. The birch leaf, oval as an egg, falls sunny side upon the ground. La hoja de abedul es um, redondeada como un, o ovalada como un huevo y cae al, a la vista del sol al nivel de la tierra. Willow leaves turn yellow green and hang from leaves that all curve down. Las hojas de sauce se tornan amarilla verdosa y caen en forma curva hacia abajo. The ginkgo's wavy golden leaf is shaped just like a little fan. Yeah, it looks like a fan. Oof, oof. Las hojas del guingo son unas hojas doradas que tienen una forma como un pequeño abanico y se pueden mover como estos también. The broad leaf of the sycamore is yellow with a coat of tan. La hoja ancha del sicomoro es amarilla y se puede y tiene un color así como bronceado. We toss the bright leaves in the air. Orange, yellow, gold and red. We dance together as they fall. Leaf hat settle on our heads. Nosotros tiramos todas las hojas hacia el aire. Las naranja, las amarillas, las doradas y las rojas. Y bailamos según estas nos caen 
y también nos toca en nuestra cabeza. O cuando las hojas se posan en nuestra cabeza. We clap with joy, we love the leaves, we rake a glowing golden hip. Nosotros aplaudimos de gozo, nos encantan las hojas, nosotros rastrillamos las hojas brillantes doradas. Then, holding hands, we jump into a pile of colors, three feet deep. Wow, it looks like they're having fun. I think I would like to do that. Does anybody of you like to do that? Or have any of you done that? Maybe not yet, but who knows? Maybe daddy and mommy will take you to the farm and you will be able to jump. Three feet deep. Okay. Luego, agarrado de las manos, nosotros saltamos a una pila de muchas hojas de colores que tienen aproximadamente tres pies de altura. El fin de end. The end. That's the way the story goes. Yeah. And so, That's guys, I, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, I think the book was talking about fall, and we were looking of colors like yellow, red, brown, uh, maybe some purples. Um, are the colors of the trees um, in our neighborhood the same colors? Does any of you can go check at the window and tell me what colors you guys see? Maybe Jake, I see a window behind him. Jake, do you think you could do that? So you want us to see if we, if we find leaves in our window? I'm going to go. Check. No, if they could look at the windows and see what color of the leaves are on the trees. Naranja, marrones, uh, doradas, rojizas. Y Miss Patricia, si podemos ir a la ventana y mirar qué hojas vemos ahora mismo fuera de nuestra ventana, qué colores de hojas. Mm. I saw some green and orange ones out my window. I think Troy is checking out his window. Let's see what he finds. Who else is checking? I think, uh, I think well, Madison's Michael, mommy, you want to check? Madison's mommy, I think, is checking too. Okay, okay. oh, and our Sabrina is checking too. Let's see. La mamá de Leo. Let's see what they find. Si, Troy? Si, si usted quiere llevarlo a Leo a la ventana, a ver si ustedes ven algunos colores de hojas. Okay, usted no puede decir. Gracias. Roy, would you like yeah. to share what you saw? What color? Um, see? Hello. Ooh. Yellow. How about Sabrina? What does Sabrina see by her window? Sabrina, can you say orange? Some orange leaves? Mmm, like a pumpkin. You're a cute little pumpkin. Hmm? What about you, Jake? Did you saw any colors? Um, what colors were the trees? I have a picture. Oh, he has oh, one. Jake, he, he has one, one leaf. And what color is that? Jake, can you tell me what color is the leaf that you have? Yes. Orange. Orange like his shirt. Yes. I was going to say that very much. And what, and um, ¿qué tal lío? ¿Lo pudo llevar o no, señora? Se ve de aquí, tan verdes y amarillas. Mm. Okay, muy bien. So she said that she sees uh, uh, green leaves and yellow. And what about um, uh, Madison mom? There's green leaves outside of our window. Green. Okay, Madison, can you try to say green? Grr, 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 grr. Like, like when the dogs go 
Go mad. Grrr. Can I you try? Like okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for participating. I think Miss Pamela has another um, activity for us. Yes, now that we pay attention to our book, and you guys are awesome watching by the window. Ahora de que ya prestamos atención a nuestro libro, que fuimos a la ventana y vimos las hojas, it's time for dancing. It's time for move our bodies because we need to exercise and be active. Ahora es hora de bailar y de ejercitarnos porque hay que estar activos. We have two songs today. So let's do the first one. Do we have to stand up, Miss Pamela? Yes. Uh, of course. I'm just putting the sun okay. and then I'm gonna stand up too. Okay. okay. Wanna see everybody and dancing move. Vamos a pararnos a bailar. There's no sound, Miss Pamela. Light go. No? No. It was a little off. Okay. You tell me now. Now? It started out good. Let's see. Red light stop. Green light go, red light stop, green light go, red stop, green go, red light, green light, now you know. Red light stop, green light go, red light stop, green light go, red stop. Green go, red light, green light, now you know. Green light. Red light. Wait. Green light. Sometimes we cannot hear the music in the videos. Come on, everybody. Let's do some fast and slow things together. We are jumping up and down, jumping up and down. We all are jumping up and down, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. We all are jumping up and down, we're jumping up and down, jumping up and down. We all are jumping up and down, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. We all are jumping up and down. We are bending over, bending over. We all are bending over, bending over, bending over. Over. We all are bending. We are running really fast, running really fast. We all are running really fast, running really fast, running really fast. We all are running really fast. We're running really fast, running really fast. We all are running really fast, running really fast, running really fast. We all are running really fast. We are hiding our eyes, hiding our eyes. We all are hiding 
our eyes, hiding our eyes, hiding our eyes. We all are hiding. We are swimming in the water, swimming in the water. We all are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. We all are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. We all are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. We all are swimming in the water. We are climbing a ladder, climbing a ladder. We all are climbing a ladder, climbing a ladder, climbing a ladder. We all are climbing. We are bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. We all are bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. We all are bouncing up and down. We're bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. We all are bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. We all are bouncing up and down. We are falling to the ground, falling to the ground. We all are falling to the ground. Falling to the ground, falling to the ground. We all are falling to the ground. Yes, we did it. Yes, we did it. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did it. Yes, we did it. Hooray! Yes, we did! Yay! And now, that was a good exercise. Let's take a deep breath in. Y tomamos aire. Ooh, and let it go. Y soltamos. One more time. Let's take a deep breath in. Tomamos aire. And let it go. Y soltamos. And for the last time, let's take a deep breath in. Tomamos aire. And let it go. Y soltamos. Good job, everybody. Buen trabajo. And now we are going to do an activity related to the book that we read today. Vamos a hacer ahora una actividad relacionada al libro que leímos el día de hoy. And let's see it, girls. You are on mute. <laughs> Welcome everyone again. And today we're gonna hear from our art instructor, Miss Erin Hall, who's here with her wonderful son, Troy. And we're gonna listen to her instructions and see if we can make a wonderful Vincent Van Gogh for sunset. We've done two wonderful projects together, right? We did the sunflowers last Friday, I hope some of you at home were able to join us and make a beautiful sunflower portrait. And then the week before, I think we did a haystack portrait. So today we will be doing fall farm sunsets and I'm gonna hand it over to Miss Erin Hall so we can follow her instructions and see how we come along. And me. Yes, and you, and you're you gonna too, help Troy. me. Yes. <laughs> Amiga. Y instructora de arte, eh, la señora Eric Hall. Ella nos va a estar um, dando las técnicas, los materiales y las instrucciones de la actividad que vamos a hacer el día de hoy. Ya en las clases anteriores hemos hecho eh, algunas obras de Vincent Van Gogh, como girasoles, hemos hecho diferentes actividades, pero el día de hoy vamos a hacer una granja, en, eh, como quien dice, un amanecer en una granja. Eh, y la señora Eric, junto con su hijo Troy, que nos dijo que él también está aquí, nos va a dar las instrucciones ahora de esta actividad. Hi, everybody. Hi. So today we are going to work on a beautiful sunset. It's about the falling leaves and the changings of colors. The sun is starting to set earlier. And this is a beautiful painting by Van Gogh. And the thing that is most important about Yay! his techniques is that he uses basic shapes that our children are interested in, like circles and straight lines mm. and different colors that contrast, like the yellow and the blue. And we are going 
to use are crayons. I have crayons. If you have uh, crayons or pencils, whatever you have will work, but I have crayons and a piece of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is work with our little ones. <laughs> Make a circle. We're going to do this beautiful sunset. So you can choose yellow or orange, but you're going to make a circle and then have your, if, if you need to help them, you can draw the circle and then have them color inside with a little tap, tap um, or dash technique. All right. But we're going to do yellow and orange for now. And we'll, let's do our circle and then we'll do the next part. Okay. Miss Erin nos decía que, como estamos viendo aquí en la imagen, vamos a estar trabajando acerca de el otoño y el amanecer en el, en el cual en esta época amanece más temprano y el sol está muy bonito y brillante. Para esto vamos a necesitar una hoja de papel y crayones por el momento amarillo y naranja. Luego ella nos va a ir diciendo los pasos más adelante. Van a ayudar al niño o ustedes van a hacer un círculo, el cual va a ser el primer paso que es el sol y van a, a, a dejar que los niños dibujen haciendo como toquecitos o haciendo puntitos, pero hay que dejarlos a ellos, si no usted con su manita lo ayuda a que ellos empiecen a hacer la actividad. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so for like um, a Madison's mommy, um, if you want, if you put the crayon in her hand and you grab your hand over hand, just so she can, you can help her make the motion with your hand over her hand, she may, that may be a little more um, engaging for her, and she, you know, yeah, so you could put your hand on top of her hand and make that round circle together. Or you can have her color it. <laughs> Miss Erin, can you tell us a little bit more about what is the dash technique? Yes, so the technique that Van Gogh used, he was a painter, and so he used little, it wasn't really dots of paint, but more small brush strokes of paint that he layered on top. So if we don't have paint where we can layer it and layer it, we can use our crayons and we can do small markings. Instead of broad strokes where we, um, I'm not sure if you can see, but where, where you, a lot of times when you color, you put your crayon down and you keep it on the paper and you make, you, you, you fill it all in. The dash technique is where you're lifting the crayon, kind of tapping it to make a mark. I'm not sure if you can see my screen. Can anyone see Yes, me? I could see it. Thank you for the, for the explanation. So la señora, nos, so la señora you... Erin nos estaba diciendo que la técnica que, de la cual ella habla y la que usa este pintor tan famoso es una forma en la que no dibujamos con el lápiz continuamente, sino que se hace como una línea o un punto y luego se levanta el lápiz. Como ustedes pueden ver en el, en la segun, en el segundo dibujo que nos presentamos en la pantalla, yo lo hice así, como ella dice, yo ponía el, el lápiz o el lápiz de color y hacía pequeñas líneas y luego todas esas líneas al unirse forman los diferentes colores y las diferentes figuras. Valeria, está, está, ¿entendiste las instrucciones, mami? Me parece que tú acabas de llegar. ¿Entendiste las instrucciones? Ok. If you guys are ready with your circle, it should, the next part is you can use reds or oranges and you can draw around your circle to make the beautiful orange sky. So you just kind of fill in your, the, your sky around the circle. And that's what we'll fill in next. And then we're gonna do the field below. So for now, just extend the beautiful sun rays around your circle. Entonces ya luego si tienen su círculo hecho, vamos a utilizar rojo o naranja y amarillo para hacer el brillo alrededor del sol, como vemos ahí con la misma técnica, haciendo el, el alzado de, la, de los crayones, no dibujando directo, sino haciendo unos pequeños tracitos, levantando el crayón. Miss Pamela, can, you, can we play some music? 
please, the one that is on the lesson plan? Uh, estaba pensando uh, no ponerla porque Eris va a seguir dando. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. Thank you. Jay. Hello. Hello. So the next part that is very no. fun, if you if if your little one's sticking with you, Troy's having a little hard time. But if you do a straight line right under the sun, you'd make that's called your horizon line. And that is good for us to know. That is actually what the sun sets behind. So you can use a blue or a green, or if you, if you have purple, because sometimes the, our grasses turn those cool colors once, once the sun is setting. So you can do your horizon line and you can have your little ones practice using the cool colors. So we did the warm colors above, the yellows, the oranges, the reds, giving us a golden sunset. And then you can fill the below part with blues and greens and purples. All right? Entonces, ya luego de que tengamos la parte de encima con el, el brillo del sol, vamos a trazar una línea para que este nos delimite nuestra línea del horizonte. Entonces, puede ser morada o puede ser azul. Y debajo de la línea vamos a dejar que los niños coloreen con esos, esos patrones de color azul, naranja, amarillo, marrón, morado. Y podemos ayudarlo a iniciar y luego que ellos continúen, continúen con los trazos. Primero van a ser verticales y luego van a ser horizontales. Serena, do we have to draw all the sunset? Do we yes. have to draw the sunset? Yes, Valeria. So the first step you have to do, sweetie, is you're going to draw a circle in the middle of your paper. You're going to start out with a circle, and then you are going to make little lines, like coloring it, not coloring it back and forth, but just making little different color lines, um, orange and yellow lines on the inside, like little swish, 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 like that. And you could do with orange and yellow. And once you finish your circle and you color it all orange and yellow, Valeria, then you're, it'll kind of start looking like this, right? You color your circle, you color all the top yellow and orange, and then you're going to make a, a blue line in the middle because then on the bottom is going to be your cool grass, your blue and orange and purple and white grass. Okay? You think you can get it? So first step is a circle, okay? We start out nice and easy with a circle. And then you color it in with the little swish, 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 swish technique. And the circle needs to be a little bit near to the top of your piece of paper, okay? Remember that this is art. Families who are at home, right? The goal is not to be exactly like Vincent Van Gogh. It's just to try his technique, okay? And just to, the more we practice, the better we'll get at it. But don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like what we're showing you. The point is just trying the technique and getting our children to use their fine motor skills and learn colors. La actividad los ayuda a ellos a encontrar sus eh, actividades motora o a desarrollarlas más y encontrar sus habilidades finas. Eh, así que realmente es muy bueno para los dedos, para el movimiento de la muñeca, para la destreza, para eh, que practiquen cómo agarrar los crayones, para que también usen su imaginación porque todos los trazados no siempre van a ser igual para cada, para cada persona.
the the fun thing is really like Raina was saying is it it's not to to make it um look just like it it's to practice the circle motion with our kids because that's good for them and then also the tapping technique is good for them to hold their crayons it helps them to grip and grasp so we're however they get the color on the page is is kind of the point so here's troy he's two and this is with mommy's oh. help but this is where we're getting with our sunset and it's just a fun it's a fun practice for them Cool. Entonces, realmente no es que queremos que hagan la imagen igual a la que está ahí de ejemplo de Vincent Van Gogh, pero sí es para que practiquen hacer las formas, la forma circular y el estilo de hacer tipo, como diríamos, carabatos, hacer el, el trazado uh, lineal así alzando el lápiz. Así que realmente no es para que lo hagan perfecto, sino para que practiquen este tipo de estilo. Okay, and I think maybe now we can probably play the music, right? Because we kind of have all the stuff. Now we're going to, everyone can enjoy some relaxing music to hopefully inspire your lines and circles. I don't know. I think maybe Michael may need to play it. I don't know. We're not hearing it. With the right hand. Sorry guys, the last thing, if you want, on the yellow, or not the yellow, on the blue line that you drew, if you do vertical dashes, it will be the wheat field. And you'll watch how the sun starts to really set beyond your horizon. So you can just do vertical lines to make some wheat grass. Thank you. 
en la línea azul o morada que hicieron, pueden hacer líneas verticales que sobresalgan hacia arriba, hacia donde está el, el sol. So we are finished over here and I'll have Troy hold up. This is a mixture of mommy and Troy. Oh, look at that beautiful oh. orange sunset by Jake, oh. beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's so wonderful, Troy. Nice, como le va Leo? O a, le, a la o mamá, como le va? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sí, qué lindo con sus marcas. Okay, nice. And, okay, we'll, we'll give Isabella Beautiful some. job, Leo. That looked amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Madison's and Mommy's, nice. I love, ooh, I like those wiggly lines. Those are cool. Yes, those are perfect, Madison. Beautiful. <laughs> um, Isabella, was Madison able to um, make a few marks on that paper? I tried to get her to do the sun, but mm -hmm. she put a crayon in her mouth. So uh, I, was, I, was, I took the camera off because I was struggling a little bit. Oh, uh, it's okay. Madison is still in that, she's in that oral stage still. She wants to taste everything. <laughs> they, okay. like to, they like to put it in their mouth, but the more we show them that it does something, then we get into the danger where they'll be coloring on our tables. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Valeria, how are you doing? Oh, wow, Valeria, Ooh. you did a perfect circle. Very good, Valeria. Very is... good. Okay. Okay, so now let's, let's color around the circle, Valeria, with just little lines, yellow and orange, little dots, like around, like, you know, like the rays coming out from the sun around the circle. Okay, if, and if you don't finish, don't worry, okay? You will have enough time. Uh, later to finish the project and maybe next class you could show it to us, okay? Okay, 
Okay, we only have a few more minutes, friends. Um, I know we usually we usually say this in all our other classes for the families. If you want to put your child's name and the date on this picture, because it's a it's a, a memory um, that we can have, right? Saying that you learned Vincent Van Gogh together, and if you want um, to spell the uh, artist's name too, you can. I'm gonna put it on my paper just so that. Um, we also don't forget, right? Who are we trying to, um, to, um. Nosotros siempre le decimos a ustedes que pongan siempre el nombre de el niño, la fecha, como yo lo tengo acá, el nombre de la actividad, y si quieren también poner el nombre del artista, que en este caso es Vincent Van Gogh, lo pueden poner uh, también en la hojita, porque así les sirve de de memoria para cualquier momento que quieran darle hacia atrás a las lecciones. Okay. How do we spell Van Gogh again? Is it V-A-N? There we go. Thank you. Miss Erin has the name of the artist on her screen. Let's all copy that so we can tell our families today at the dinner table or at whenever we see them who we learned. Thank you, Erin. Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> Hola Alma, llegaste tardecito, mami, casi estamos terminando. Eh, hola Dayana, ¿cómo estás? So ahora estuvimos haciendo esta, um, esta actividad. No sé si la alcanzas a ver. Okay. Es como no la caída una... del sol, es como la caída del sol, ok. Um, si tú la quieres hacer después, yo te voy a mandar una foto del, del, de, de lo que estamos haciendo. Y la idea es, yo sé que tu niño está chiquitico, la idea es simplemente que él, por lo menos que agarre lápiz y que trate de hacer líneas, que trate de hacer un círculo y que trate de hacer líneas, y no importa si te sale o no te sale exacto como nosotros te lo estamos diciendo, como te lo estamos mostrando. Queremos que los niños, especialmente los más pequeños, aprendan a agarrar un lápiz o aprendan a agarrar un color y simplemente que vayan haciendo líneas, líneas, líneas o puntos y puntos. Y, eh, porque eso les va a ayudar en un futuro para el desarrollo de sus habilidades finas motoras, ¿ok? Well, guys, we're to for the class today. Es hora de decir adiós. Yo pensé que era la una. <laughs> no. Miss Pamela, can, can, we, can we ask them if they could show us what they did? I would like to take a picture. Uh, por favor, mostrar su trabajo, así uh, se puede tomar una foto. Can you show your, your work, please, so we can take a picture? Leonardo. Okay. Okay, I took a few pictures. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Valeria. I really like it. I, I like how it's looking, okay? Everybody did a great job. I like how you guys focus working on this. Okay, Pamela, do you have anything else? No, just remember that the class is every Friday here from 12 to 1. And if you miss it, you can go back to our Facebook page and just uh, watch the class for the uh, Friday before. And uh, you can always uh, welcome, you are always welcome to come to the class. Recuerden que las clases son todos los viernes de 12 a 1. Eh, si no tiene la oportunidad de venir a la hora de la clase, puede ir siempre hacia atrás en nuestra página de Facebook y ver la clase. Our page is Hans Points Alliance for Children, so you can go back and see all your cuties um, in the videos for the classes, okay? Pueden volver atrás a nuestra página de Homes Points Alliance for Children y ver a sus hermosos videos. And the last thing I wanted to say with the families is next Friday, um, we are going to do a little special um, Halloween uh, special, right? So we'll be reading a nice, not so spooky book. Okay, but it'd be very um, child friendly. And I think we can do um, our last Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night, right? Um, maybe next week, right? And connect it with our, with our spooky Halloween. Um, so please join us. We're gonna have some fun.
Entonces, la última uh, información es que el viernes vamos a tener una clase de Halloween o si también no les gusta llamarlo así, de pueden vestir a su niño de trabajadores esenciales, bomberos, policías, médicos, solamente ponerles una sabanita, pintarles la carita, vamos a tener un día de compartir eh, y vamos eh, a tener el último, eh, la última actividad de Vincent Van Gogh para así uh, hacer el enlace con esa... Uh. Y vamos a leer un libro no tan, un libro bien uh, bonito para los niños, pero referente al tema. Oh, awesome. Ok, so everyone, we hope to see you next week. And hi, Vivi. Glad you made it. We missed you. you she's ready for Halloween already. She has a little, her antennas. Awesome. <laughs> yep. All right, ready? It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. We did some more wrangle inside. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. It's hora de decir adiós a mis amigos. Adiós. Es hora de decir adiós a mis amigos. Es hora de decir adiós a mis amigos. Hoy hicimos más amigos. Adiós. Bye. 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 Bye, mis amigos. Bye, mis amigos. Bye, Bye, Madison. Bye, Jake. Bye, Valeria. Bye, Lorena. Thank you, Lorena. Le dije que no se fuera. Okay. Now let's do attendance. Hola a todas. Saludos. ¿Cómo están? Bien. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo estás, Lorena? Bien. Rena, you're muted. Okay, and so we have Diana's little brother that came. The end, and then the other new one was um Leonardo. Right. Madison, we have uh, Sabrina. Mm. Troy. Yeah, Troy's not on the list, but um, um oh my son and uh, I think I got I think I got all of them. Okay. Yeah. So I guess for for Valeria, you could use her brother, put her brother that he came in. Um Okay. Okay, just for him for now, because mommy made the effort to join, and all okay. the baby wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. He's very little. Yeah. Okay. Huh? okay. Got it. Got it. So right. I had a total, total of six. Okay. Okay. All righty. Well, cool.